Welcome to the annual Pulitzer Prize winner seminar. I'm Megan Mulligan, the Deputy Administrator of the Prizes for Digital and Editorial, and I'd like to thank Claudia Weisberg from the Pulitzer Office and Lauren Schaefer from Columbia Journalism School uh, for the work that they put into making this evening a success. I'd also like to thank the Pulitzer Admi Administrator, Mike Pride, um, for allowing me the privilege of introducing tonight's panelists. We're so honored to welcome 2016 Pulitzer winners from the Associated Press, the New York Times, and Reuters. They're all foreign correspondents, which means they've come quite a long way to be here this evening. Thank you. And I'll say some words about each of their impressive backgrounds and that of our moderator, Sheila Coronel, too. But first, I'd like to note that 2016 is a special year for our office. It's the centennial of the Pulitzer Prizes. Tonight's panelists join a roster of winners that includes dozens of legendary reporters and photographers whose work we've been celebrating all year with more than 200 events around the country. Video of many of them is available at Pulitzer.org. Um, we're live streaming tonight's conversation and we encourage you to tag us on social media with hashtag Pulitzer 100. And it's on all the slides so you can remember. Um, this event was billed as Pulitzer Winners Exposing Injustices Around the World. That title only begins to speak to the meticulous documentation of profiteering, conflict, and migration brought to light by the people sitting before you. When we talk about journalism as the first draft of history, we're talking about the kind of work these reporters and photographers produced under extremely challenging circumstances in Southeast Asia, Afghanistan, and along the path of refugees from the war in Syria. The impact of their commitment is remarkable. The first winners who Sheila will speak to tonight are Margie Mason and Robin McDowell from AP. Their colleagues Martha Mendoza and Esther Toussaint are here with us as well and they'll be answering questions too. Um, together they were awarded the 2016 Public Service Pulitzer Prize. Um, in their series Seafood from Slaves, they, this team of reporters tracked seafood all the way from captive workers peeling shrimp in Thailand to the shelves of stores here like Walmart and Whole Foods. Um, both Margie and Robin have reported extensively from Southeast Asia on everything from major health outbreaks like SARS and the H5N1 flu virus to the death of Cambodian dictator Pol Pot. So welcome. Um, our next panelist is Alyssa Rubin, the 2016 Pulitzer Prize winner in international reporting. In entering Alyssa's work on Afghan women, her editors at the New York Times commended not only her courage and expert storytelling, but also her mentorship, modesty, and the investment she has made in the careers of other Western reporters and Iraqi and Afghan staff. Alyssa went to Afghanistan shortly after sustaining severe injuries in a helicopter crash in Iraq. She's reported from the Balkans. She's also covered politics in Washington, which probably con qualifies as conflict reporting at this point. Um, lastly, I want to introduce Yanis Barakas from Reuters and hopefully Mauricio Lima from the New York Times, who um, should be joining us. Um, their news outlets were each awarded a 2016 Pulitzer Prize in breaking news photography for their images of migrant refugees. Yanis was born in Athens and is based in Greece and Cyprus. Reading his bio, it seems like many of our panelists, he's been a witness to most of the major world news stories of the last decade and longer. Um, you see place names like Kosovo, Chechnya, Sierra Leone, Somalia, Iran. In entering Yanis and his colleagues for the Pulitzer, the editor-in-chief at Reuters, Stephen Adler, called out the photographer's ability to capture the refugees' flight with humanity and respect. The winning New York Times photographs capture the struggles both of the refugees and the Europeans taking them in. Mauricio, who hails from Brazil, traveled with a refugee family from Greece to Sweden as part of his con contribution to this year's prize-winning portfolio. Last year, he was a finalist for the Pulitzer um, for his photographs from Ukraine. Um, together, these journalists bring dignity to people facing some of the biggest challenges any human being can face. They capture their hopes as well as their fears and share them with all of us. Our world is full of porous borders and these journalists are crossing both geopolitical and cultural boundaries as they bring light to these remarkable stories. 
but they're also all human too, and I was pleased to see some later notes in their bios from Margie's first job at her hometown newspaper in Morgantown, West Virginia, to Robin's time right here at Columbia Journalism School. Alyssa likes to hike and also got a master's degree here at Columbia in, as part of the European history program, so something completely different. Um, in addition to wars, Giannis has covered the Olympics and World Cup soccer. Um, Mauricio studied art history and photography as well as photojournalism. So with that, I will turn it over to Sheila, who is just as complex and well-rounded as all of these people on the panel. Um, she is the Dean of Academic Affairs and Director of the Tony Stabile Center for Investigative Journalism, and we're really grateful to have her here moderating the panel tonight. So thank you.